Is it time for Apple to give iOS a makeover? I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. There's been much buzz about how the next iPhone will have a completely new look for the design of the operating system and the icons. The word is, is that Apple doesn't want applications to mimic the look of real life items. For example, the Notes app. It looks like a yellow legal notepad with ripped pages, and the blog 9to5Mac is reporting that the new iPhone interface will be simpler and flatter without so many textures, and the apps will lose their shiny look. It's expected that Apple will show off this new look with iOS 7 on June 10th at its developers conference, so we'll have to wait and see. And if you're in the market for a smartphone, now's a good time to shop. Best Buy is taking $50 off iPhones and the Samsung Galaxy S3 starting May 26th, and a few other Android phones are also going on sale. Ever since the Xbox One was unveiled, everyone has been getting pretty worked up about what Microsoft is going to do about used games. Microsoft says you'll be able to play a used game, but if the game was already played once on someone else's account, you may have to pay a fee to activate it? What? Microsoft is keeping quiet about the details, and we don't know what this fee would be or even how it might work, but the latest report from gaming news site MCV says that Microsoft and gaming publishers are creating a system so they get a piece of the sale of used games. If this is complicated, this could destroy Gamefly, the video game rental service, and say goodbye to getting a good discount at GameStop. Sony might also change how it handles used games with the new PlayStation 4, but we have to wait until the E3 conference to know more, which just so happens to be the same day that Apple has its presentation on June 10th. If you're an AT&T wireless customer, you'll notice this month your bill went up 61 cents. AT&T added a new 61 cent monthly admin fee for all contract wireless customers. And although that seems small for the individual, the Wall Street Journal reports this will help AT&T bring in more than half a million dollars. AT&T says this fee is similar to what other carriers charge and that it'll help cover maintenance expenses. Dig announced that its RSS reader will be called, get this, Dig Reader, and it'll be incorporated into the current Dig app. When Google Reader announced it will shut down July 1st, Dig said it was going to step up and create a replacement service for people to pull in the feeds to their favorite sites. Dig Reader is expected to launch in June. That's your tech news update. You can find more details at CNET.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.